Volcano Vista Baseball on the rise, and this week's State Farm Metro Player of the Week is Andre Vigil, a sophomore at Volcano Vista, pictured right here in the sunglasses. He has 12 home runs on the season. He's going to walk us through the come-from-behind win over El Dorado. You know, uh, he just tells us that, you know, keep your heads up and you guys have a chance, you know, we need to start picking it up because, you know, the first couple of innings was pretty bad, you know, we, we didn't play it up to our potential and we just got to get that confidence back and just keep going. We need to get the sticks alive. V. Hill, who currently has 12 home runs, which leads the state of New Mexico, helped Volcano Vista knock off El Dorado last week, 15-14, coming to bat in the final inning, hitting a walk-off grand slam. Last week alone, he had four home runs and 12 RBIs. We had no outs, and uh, our, the big dogs are coming in. You know, I, I, I believe in the whole team, and I knew if I had hit it and he would have caught out and scored a run and advanced the base runners, and I knew Vic and... Dano and uh, other teammates uh, below them would have done their job and got him in. So I, I knew that we were, we were going to come out successful. And, you know, I believed in the team, and I'm pretty sure pe people believed in me too, in the stands and teammates and all that, and coaches. So I just got the bat on the ball. Third year Volcano Vista coach Kevin Andrus talks about V Hill's walk off home run as well as highlights some other seniors that have contributed to Volcano Vista's season success at 13 and 2 on the season. Bottom of the seventh. Um, got a nice at bat from our number eight hole hitter. You know, a little infield single he legged out. And then our number nine hitter had an old two pitch that he hit to right field. And once we got to the top of the order, I felt pretty confident we were going to figure out a way to score some runs on, on a windy day like it was. Bases are juiced and a sophomore comes to the plate. Now, how much soft, how much confidence, I should say, do you have in Andre? I know he's leading the state currently in home runs, but I mean, it's not typical for, you know, a varsity player to come to the plate with the bases juiced, especially as a sophomore. Did you have confidence in him? Were you expecting a walk off just considering his power? Did, you, did it cross your mind? Talk about that at bat uh, when the bases were juiced and Andre comes up. Well, you know, to be honest with you, I I just, uh, I knew immediately when, uh, when Andre came up with the bases loaded that the game was over to some degree, whether he was going to do it or uh, Victor Sanchez behind him. Uh, the way the wind was blowing, it, it mattered. It took was somebody just getting their fat part of the bat on it and, and getting some kind of lift on it. And the way that the game had been going with those two guys had been swinging the bats, so I felt pretty confident we were in pretty good shape at that point. Andre hits the walk-off. Um, you guys are going wild. I mean, another come from behind. We've seen it before. Um, talk about just the resilience of this team and and how you guys have been able to manage the 13 and 2 season record so far well you're right we've uh, we certainly put ourselves in uh, several holes this year and, and for whatever reasons we figured out ways to capitalize on other teams mistakes um, whatever the situation is just to figure out a way to beat them by a run uh, you know I was very disappointed in the way that we played during that game we've done that earlier in the season so I wasn't as excited about it as you might think I was I was a little bit down because I know that uh, you get in a state tournament game with some good teams and you put yourself in that kind of hole uh, it's gonna be tough to come back but you know, I'm proud of the kids and in, in the way that uh, you know even when we're down 10 nothing they came into the dugout full of uh, you know let's go get them and let's figure out a way to score some runs and, and you know they, they figured out a way to do it Lastly, if you could highlight some of the seniors that I've been contributing. I know we're here today to highlight a sophomore, but there's a lot of seniors on this team that have been working hard and have, that have uh, helped you guys get to this point. If you could just highlight some seniors on this roster. Well, like I mentioned before, Victor Sanchez is having a great year. He's, uh, you know, he's one of my top two pitchers, uh, does a great job on the mound. Uh, he's got nine home runs. He hits behind Andre. so. Uh, you know, is a good guy to have in that particular spot. Uh, one of my pitchers who's had a great year is C.J. Romero, uh, who doesn't throw real hard, but it's been real effective for us. Uh, T.J. Trujillo, my first baseman, is also my number three three pitcher who's uh, done a great job for us, been starting for three years. Uh, Aaron Lovato is my starting right fielder for three years. Dano Gassaway is in left, has been, been there for three years. And um, I don't want to forget anybody, but uh, I've got uh, I've got seven of them that uh, have really uh, stepped up. Jared Chavez, a kid who didn't get to play a whole lot, came in and, and got a big base hit for us in that ninth inning, uh, an opportunity to play as a senior. So, um, you know, it's a good group of kids that have been here since the day we opened up the school. And you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm very fortunate that uh, you know I have such great kids in our program at this point.